You've seen them everywhere in downtown Nashville, but the question is, will you be able to scoot around in this winter weather? News Channel 5's Eric Hilt is live in Germantown, and Eric, I know you talked with city officials about their plans for the scooters. This is a story new at 10. Yeah, Roy, these scooters probably haven't seen a lot of riders today. You can see they're just covered in water from today's rain, and it's just uncomfortable to be out riding these scooters in these types of conditions. But with winter weather right around the corner, we set to find out what happens to these scooters when the uncomfortable conditions turn into icy and dangerous conditions. On a cold and dreary November night, these four Lime scooters in Germantown won't see many riders. As most people are not going to be out unless they have to in this kind of weather. But with the winter weather getting closer to the metro, what will happen to the scooters when this rain turns into snow and ice? In Nashville, we can have big weather swings just like we're having today. And Billy Fields, the director of the Metro Transportation Licensing Commission, says the city is still figuring out a plan for those swings. And the Metro ordinance gives the commission the authority to develop it. We'd actually go plan to do it in December. We we're not expecting this kind of weather in November. Fields tells me the rules would focus on two features. Be temperatures and, and precipitation. And deciding if there's a temperature or a snow level where the scooters shut down. And once that's stopped, there's no way to get them started. But this debate is just getting started. For so I think there'll be some people say there should be no regulations, and others will say there should be extensive regulations. What we're going to have to do is look at other cities, but we're also and see what they've done, but we're also going to look at what Nashville needs to do. And Field says that need all comes down to scooting safely. What we don't want to do is decrease mobility, but we have to make sure it's safe. Now, if the city does put cold weather restrictions on these scooters, it wouldn't be the first time that that commission has put in weather related restrictions. Right now, they have restrictions for horse carriages. They can't operate when it's too hot or too cold out. Now, I reached out to Lime and Bird, the two companies that operate the scooters here in the Nashville metro area. They said they keep an eye on weather conditions and especially winter weather conditions, but they wouldn't give me any specifics on what happens to these scooters once it gets those uh, wintry and icy uh, conditions. Reporting live, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5.